Let's face the obvious. The end of the world is waiting for us. In about seven and a half billion years, the sun, which will have become a red giant, will incinerate the Earth. Most likely, it will then expand, engulfing Mercury, Venus, and possibly our planet. Everyone will die. But the history of the universe will not end there. There are events ahead that will send chills down your spine. The birth and death of stars, the collision of galaxies, and a new Big Bang. I suggest you have a look at the world after the apocalypse with your own eyes. Before the sun roasts everything familiar and dear to you, many strange events will happen. For example, with 95% probability, humanity will become extinct in 9,120 years. So believes Australian physicist Brandon Carter. In 15,000 years, the arid regions of the Sahara may turn green and become grassland. And in 50,000 years, a new ice age will begin. Then, after another 50,000 years, supervolcanoes will erupt. In 500,000 years, counting from today, an asteroid with a diameter of about one kilometer or six-tenths of a mile is expected to strike. That's at least ten times smaller than the diameter of the Chicxulub, which may have destroyed the dinosaurs. But such a blow will still be felt. Fifty million years later, the Mediterranean will be replaced by mountains like the Himalayas, and Eurasia will join Africa. In another 50 million years, space will strike again. And this time, the asteroid may arrange a kind of Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event for the planet. Humanity can survive it all only if it colonizes other planets. Theoretical physicist Michio Kaku believes that in a million years, humans will have fully conquered the Milky Way. Let's assume that he's right and that our descendants will have time to do so. As the spaceships fly towards distant nebulae, the continents form a supercontinent and then separate again. The Milky Way galaxy collides with the Andromeda galaxy. The moon moves away from the Earth. The sun's luminosity increases, and with it, the surface temperature of our planet. All of Earth's water evaporates. Our world, now so green and blooming with life, will look like a modern Venus, with an eerie atmosphere created by the rapid greenhouse effect. Now, here we're at 7.6 billion years old. Most likely, the Earth is no longer there. And even the Voyager golden records sent to alien life forms can no longer be played. The sun continues to grow. In a little less than 8 billion years, it will reach its maximum radius and become 256 times larger than it is today. Most likely, at this moment, it will destroy the Earth and the planets of the Earth group. Then, about 1 billion years later, the sun will become a white dwarf. It will be like the ember of a fire that has just been put out, still hot, but no longer burning. Its size will also decrease and become slightly larger than the size of the Earth. If the Earth had somehow survived the red giant stage of the Sun by shifting from its orbit, there would now be nothing alive on its surface. The further into the future we move, the more approximate scientists' predictions become. There's at least one zombie galaxy in the universe, MACS 2129-1. New stars haven't formed in it for 10 billion years, but the galaxy continues to evolve and rebuild in its own way. Is it possible that in 10 billion years, the Milky Way will also become a zombie. Who knows? There's still too much of the unknown in space. Too much of the unknown and dark energy. This is a hypothetical form of energy that evenly fills the entire space of the universe and accelerates its expansion. If the characteristics of dark energy change over time, its energy density will increase with the expansion of the universe. This will eventually lead to the Big Rip, the most absolute end of the world imaginable. This could happen in 22 billion years.
According to this theory, the universe will expand until it's torn apart. Even atoms will break down into gluons and quarks. First, clusters of galaxies will break up, including the local group, which includes the Milky Way. Then galaxies will begin to lose stars at their edges and eventually also break up. All of the star systems will lose their connections and the planets will fly off into a rapidly expanding universe. If the Earth is still intact, it will suffer the same fate. Then planets, stars, asteroids, and even extreme objects like black holes will turn into atoms that will break apart, and the density of dark energy will increase. All distances will become infinitely large. We can assume that even the fabric of space-time will break at the very end. And, in fact, we don't know what will happen next. However, data obtained using the Chandra X-ray Observatory suggests that dark energy is a cosmological constant. So there's no big rip to worry about. Exhale. <sighs> Let's say our planet is still intact. It wasn't burned by a red giant or destroyed by a powerful collision with another space object. 50 billion years from now, there will be no life on it, and even the sky itself will look different. The influence of tidal forces will make the period of the Moon's rotation around the Earth equal to that of the Earth's rotation around its axis. The same side of the Moon and Earth will always face each other. In 65 billion years, the speed of the Moon's rotation around its axis will slow down so much that the Moon will crash into the Earth. Most likely, this won't be a head-on collision in which both celestial bodies are flattened against each other. When approaching our planet, the Moon will be torn into pieces, which will crash into the Earth. As a result, fragments of the Moon and fragments of the Earth will eventually form a new celestial body. The universe will continue expanding. In about 100 or 150 billion years, every galaxy outside the local group will disappear beyond the boundaries of the observable universe. This will most likely make cosmology impossible. A trillion years. After about such a period of time, star formation will stop in galaxies. Clouds of interstellar gas, which is necessary for the creation of new stars, will be depleted. If a person somehow finds themselves on the Earth, which also somehow survives, they will see a completely different sky above them. Today, the Milky Way looks like a pale, uneven band of light made up of billions of stars that are too small for our eyes to see. But in the distant future, these stars will be evenly distributed across the sky. Astrophysicist Avi Loeb believes that this will throw astronomy back into the Dark Ages. For anyone who decides to study space at this time, it will be similar to the space that people saw before the invention of telescopes. At that time, people thought they were the center of everything and believed that the Milky Way was the universe. What about humanity? What will become of our distant descendants who leave the Earth? Evolution won't come to a standstill, so our appearance will change beyond recognition. How exactly is anyone's guess? Perhaps the eyes will become larger, and the visual acuity will change because of the need to constantly look into the dark space of the cosmos. Or the structure of the skeleton and muscles will be different because of the long periods of time spent in zero gravity. We probably won't recognize our descendants. They will survive the end of the stars. In 10 trillion years, red dwarfs will destroy their last reserves of hydrogen and turn into white dwarfs. To survive, we'll need energy sources. In fact, there are many options. For example, living near a white dwarf or using energy from black holes. It all depends on how advanced the engineering is. However, that's a topic for a separate video. If you're interested in learning more about life in a universe where all of the stars have gone out, write about it in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. 
We have a lot of interesting things ahead of us.